Hi, my name is James Clem. I love CEREC. I love 3D. Anything 3D, bring it on. Galileus, huge impact in my practice. Probably as large as anything I've ever done in 30 years of practicing. Though we connect Galileus with implants, and I do use that for my planning, I use it for my CCAT surgical guide, and it gives me that security that the implant's going to go where it needs to go, staying away from those areas that we want to avoid. However, we still need good surgical techniques, and yet the Galileus is so much larger within the scope of how I build the identity of my practice with diagnostics. We use it for all our new patient exams. I use it for my recur exams. And the factor is, wow, what the patient sees, it builds their value system. It builds our excellence within the eyes of that patient and it creates great conversations. Let me share a case with you. The ability to understand patients and look at the whole face system, including the neck, the sinuses, the TMJ joints, helps me to understand patients better and patients become more involved in their treatment planning. That's a big plus because it, if I were to put it this way, when they become more involved, they feel safer and they feel more responsible and they will act in a more responsible way. That's my left team, J, missing a little cartilage. However, there's, there's my disc. Remodeling of a joint kind of tells us where that patient has been or maybe an accident they have had. It also will project a functional profile that will help us with better decisions during any type of comprehensive care. I want to share one case with you on this video that demonstrates the diagnostic assets of this system. Case in point, tooth number 15, it's an endo I did probably back in about 1987. Tooth has been asymptomatic, it's stable, there's no mobility. One caveat, about every two or three months she gets an infection just on the left sinus. Has taken a lot of antibiotics for that through the years and last time she had an infection there, she'll either call me or her physician, but this time she had called me. I brought her in to the office and we took a comb bean. With a little closer focus there, we saw a significant lesion lingual to those buccal roots. Scanning in a little closer, we can see there's a significant amount of bone loss. Now this is interesting because on the 2D x-ray, you know, in hindsight, maybe I can see a little bit. However, asymptomatic, could not probe the distal even with that lesion there. No mobility, and yet there's a significant lesion. Closer observation after tooth extraction documents a horizontal fracture, which is stain. That means it's been around for a while, and that's on the distal buccal root, which is the focus for the lesion. Quite often when I see a lesion extending up into the furcation, we know that there's a good likelihood there's a root fracture and there's not a lot we can do about it. So in this case, we went ahead and extracted the tooth and there's the issue. Been following her for the last five months and the sinus infections on the left sinus, they're gone, they're gone. So another way to allow a firmer confirmation for diagnostics, particularly around root canals. Learning a lot around root canals with this system. So I'm very grateful for the Galileus.